there's a friend of mine, uh, Guy Spear, um, and he's an investor. He manages about 200 odd million. Um, and many times we talk about different stocks and ideas to, you know, just get different perspectives. So Guy loves to own these great businesses that have very strong moats and they are blue chip, really good businesses, okay? The problem is that when you own these really great businesses, everybody knows they are great, okay? So the price is very high. Usually the price is very high. And I tell him, you know, it's not about the great business. It's about the great investment. So a company can be really good. It doesn't mean it will be a good investment. And a company can be not so good. And it could be a great investment. So the, the interesting thing about the investing game is if the, if the game was simply about finding the best assets or the highest quality businesses, it would be a very simple game because we can obviously figure out what business is great and what business is not so great. That's not so hard to figure out. So I, I found this uh, okay business in India, which I thought was going to become a better business. People haven't heard of, about it. It's kind of unknown. And I told Guy, this business, this quirky unknown business, is going to be a great investment. Great investment. And I told him, so he owned, uh, he owned MasterCard in his portfolio. MasterCard is a very good business. Very high quality, you know, almost a oligarchy, two, three players own the market. They don't need any capital to run the business. I mean, like 40% of revenue is profit. It's a great business. I said, this MasterCard is like at 30 times earnings. You made a lot of money. He already made like 12 times what he put in, bought it a long time back. He put 1 million, it became 12 million. So I said, you made a lot of money. It's not going to go from 12 million to 144 million. You know, if in the last 12 years it went from 1 million to 12 million, let me just tell you, next 12 years it's not going from 12 to 144. So I said, Guy, listen, I shook him up. It's time to sell MasterCard and buy SunTech Realty in Mumbai. Okay, this unknown company. And of course, Guy, in polite terms, told me, get lost. So, you know, what I do when people do that is I like to play mathematical games. You know, it's just fun to play mathematical games. This is a picture of a, of a, a small poster in my office. And I have many of these. At any given time, I have maybe um, 10 of these. Because I run into these humans who don't understand the concept of great investment and great company. So I told Guy, okay, here's what we're going to do. It is October 14th, 2018. This is when I had this conversation with him. In your corner is the phenomenal MasterCard with the impregnable moat, oligarchy business, great CEO, everything is fantastic. And that's called the Guy Spear pick. At that time, MasterCard was $204 a share. In my corner, this small, stupid company in Mumbai, SunTech Realty, no one even heard of it, right? And MasterCard, the market cap was 212 billion. Okay, 212 billion, it's a blue chip company. SunTech is less than 700 million. It's, it is absolutely, I agree with Guy, the guy running SunTech is not as good as the guy running MasterCard. 
the moat of MasterCard is a lot better than the moat of Suntech. But that's not what this contest is about. This contest is about, I, I gave him 12 years. So I said, we're not going to like have a one year contest because anything can happen one year. Because basically one of the things that Munger and Buffett say that if you have a business with great economics, great economics over the long term, your results will match the returns that the business generates over the long term. So MasterCard generates great returns. And I said, Guy, you've got such a great company. I got this useless company. We're going to go for 12 years. And every year, now when it is October 13th, 2019, it will be a pleasure to go to work in shorts and send Guy an email. Dear Guy, it has been one year. Here's where we stand so far. One round is over, another 11 rounds to go. So let's look a little further in these, in these two businesses. Look at that. This is MasterCard. If you bought MasterCard at the IPO, when it IPO'd in 2006, it was $4.23 in the IPO in 2006. And now, yesterday, it's $254, more than 50 times, maybe 55 times, in 13 years. Unbelievable. And Guy didn't even buy over here. I think he bought at maybe around $20 a share, maybe somewhere here, 2009, 2010, somewhere here he bought. and. Every time I meet Guy, I tell Guy, Guy, have we sold MasterCard? No, I cannot sell MasterCard. It's too precious. Precious, get him to sell it. How can I sell it? Look at this. Can you sell this? You can't sell this, okay? And then we have uh, just some data, okay? So it's 261 billion market cap. The trailing PE is 42. I'm almost having like a cardiac, 42 times trailing PE. Trailing return on equity is 106. And annualized return since the IPO, 37%. Unbelievable, great. But that's in the past. It's not gonna help guy in the future. We care about the future, we don't care about the past, right? So, now, here's Suntech. Look at the stupid chart. Okay? MasterCard, so beautiful. Suntech, so useless. Okay? Now, let me tell you why I don't want to make this session about stock tips. So don't think this is a stock tip. It's just to explain some concepts. Okay?